I've been working as a data analyst for about 7 months now and for this entire time I've been working remotely. My entire team is based on Chicago and they thought it'd be nice to fly me out to meet me in person for the first time. I'm usually not a morning person, but since I had a meeting at 8am, I woke up a little earlier to get ready. On most days, I usually have a stand-up meeting, which usually consists of sharing what I'm working on, what I need help with, and discussing timelines to complete dashboards and other work activities. After I finish my daily stand-up call, I head to the office. The nice thing about business trips is that the company pays for all of your expenses, including the flight, hotel, and food. I'm staying at the Marriott Resort Hotel, which is only about a 10 minute drive from the office and has everything you need from a nice bed to a functional gym, but more on that later. After I set up my desk, the first thing I do is check my work emails to see if I have any important messages to respond to, and I check my schedule to see if I have any meetings throughout the day. If I don't see any upcoming meetings, I start developing some dashboards. My data analytics workflow consists of four stages, requirements gathering, querying data, report building, and data validation. During the requirements gathering phase, I usually set up a meeting with the business stakeholder to get a better understanding of the requirements, which includes what type of data, what type of visuals, and other functionalities they want on the report. The next step is querying data, where I use SQL to pull specific tables and data for the report. This step might require some extra thinking as there might be multiple join clauses and specific time intervals within the query. Once I query the data that I need, then I start building out the report with visualizations such as graphs, tables, and other key performance indicators. The last step is validating the data, which is probably one of the most important steps. Without data validation, your dashboard can be showing faulty data, which makes the dashboard completely useless. It's important to make sure that the dashboard is showing accurate data. And that's my data analytics workflow. After I get some work done, I head to our office's cafeteria. It's pretty much your standard cafe with a grill, a sandwich bar, and a salad bar. The good thing about eating here is that it's a bit cheaper than eating out at other retail chains. After I finish eating lunch with my team, I pick up work again by progressing or finishing out any of the existing dashboards I need to develop. I usually do have meetings throughout the day for other projects, but today was a meeting-free day. It's not a normal day without a coffee or tea break. I usually have a cup of coffee in the morning to get me going and a cup of tea in the afternoon to keep the juices flowing until the rest of the day. I finish the work day by sending out any last emails and take note of the action items I need to accomplish in the next day. I pack up my things and head to dinner. Alright, I just got to Portillo's, which is a Chicago-based fast food chain. They're known for their hot dogs, Italian beef, and burgers but I really love their hot dogs and you'll see in just a few seconds. I haven't been here in four years, so I'm really excited to just chow down. I'm really starving. Let's get right to it. All right, guys, I just got my food. Got some fries, but not only one hot dog, two hot dogs and I also got a chocolate cake so hopefully that'll be enough amen so the Chicago style hot dog is probably my favorite thing here I mean just look at that this is not your regular hot dog not just with mustard and ketchup but it has just so many different things going you got your pickles you got your peppers you got your tomatoes you got some relish in there along with the hot dog so it's a lot of things at once but I love it because it's just a mix of different flavors so mm. 
I love how that pepper gives it that extra kick at the end. But I really like how the, the pickle and the tomato give it that refreshing taste. Because I feel like just with the hot dog and, and the bun can get a little dry. So I love how the pickle and the tomato gives it a more moisture. The, the pepper is there to give it some more oomph at the end. That's why it's so good. So, if you ever come to Chicago, definitely check out Portillo's. You know it's flame when you're ordering like two of these and one sitting. After checking out Portillo's and absolutely inhaling the hot dogs, I Uber back to the hotel to burn all the calories I just gained. They claim to have a fully functional gym, but we'll find out. Today is chest day. I just wanted to quickly show you guys how small this hotel gym is. But hey, I'm not complaining. After hanging around in the gym, I come back to my room to relax. And right Whoa. now, it's playoff hockey time, where once again, I get to see my Capitals choke in the first round of the playoffs. But hey, at least Ovi is chasing the all-time goal record, so it's all good. Before I go to sleep, I read my devotional book, which perfectly caps off the night. And that's it, a day in the life of a data analyst. Thanks for tagging along on my business trip, and see you guys in the next one. So it's a chef piss right there, Portillo's.